will be sharing with you an anatomy based tricep workout. And since this workout is based on the tricep anatomy, let's have a quick look on the anatomy of the triceps. So, so triceps, so the triceps words means tri means three and seps means heads. So the triceps consists of three heads. The first one is the lateral head that runs outside the triceps. The second one is the medial head that is inside the tricep which is a smaller one and the third one is the long head which is in between them. As you can see in this pic, if you consider the attachment, all the three of these muscles end towards the elbow but their origin is different. If you consider the medial and the lateral head, they don't cross the shoulders but if you consider the long head, they cross over the shoulders. So while designing the workout for hitting the long head, it is necessary that we involve shoulder extension of flexion so that we can hit the long head properly. So based on the anatomy, I will be giving you the body weight exercises to hit all the heads. So first we will start with the long head that is the most important one when it comes to improving your overall arm size. Not only the biceps, the triceps also play an important role when you consider the circumference of your arm. Then we will move on to the medial head that is the short, short tricep muscle. And the last one would be our lateral head that is at the outside of the tricep which looks like a horseshoe when you flex your triceps. I am also considering the beginner variations in this video. So if you have never done body weight tricep workout, then it's the right time to start. So let's see each of these variations and how to perform them. This exercise is similar to the overhead tricep extension that we perform at the gym using a pulley. But instead of moving our arms away from the head, here we will be moving our head towards the arms. So anyway, your elbow joint is moving, so tricep will be activated. You have to make sure that your arms are shoulder width apart and you are flexing and extending your elbows by moving head in between your arms. You have to come up by pushing the surface and using your triceps without any momentum from your hips. This exercise resembles the tricep kickbacks that we perform with the dumbbells. That's why you have to place your arms behind the shoulder line as much as it's possible for you. From there you have to push the surface away from the body by extending your elbows. So here you will feel maximum tricep contraction at the top of the move. It will hit your long head as we get slight shoulder extension here. And beginners can perform the same move on their knees. Here you have to place your arms shoulder width apart then from there you have to try to reach your elbows towards the floor such that your head comes in between the palms. And as you reach towards the floor you have to push yourself up without lifting your hips and flaring your elbows out. So by just using your triceps you have to push your body to the starting position. Place your arms together such that you make a triangle shape using them. From here, you have to perform the basic push-up maintaining the arm position. And since our shoulders are rotated slightly inward, exposing the lateral head of tricep, we will be able to hit them effectively with this variation. And as I mentioned earlier, beginners can always try this variation on their knees. This dip is specially focused on hitting your medial head. That's why it's necessary that you place your arm such that your fingers point outward and externally rotate your shoulders so that you expose your medial head for better activation. Then from here, perform the normal dips by going as low as it's possible for you. To make it easy, bend your knees and to make them difficult, elevate your legs. And if you lack shoulder mobility to perform dips, this floor dip would be a better and a safer option to hit your medial triceps as we externally rotate our shoulders here. Yes, the range of motion would be reduced, but you still get a good isolation on your tricep medial head, which is enough to perform dips on an elevated surface. And if the straight leg is difficult for you, you can always bend your knees and perform this exercise. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you find this helpful and got to learn a lot of bodyweight triceps exercises and how to use each of these exercises to hit overall heads of your triceps. So if you are lacking with your lateral head, then you can do more reps on the lateral side. And if you are lacking at your long head, then you can explicitly hit that muscle using these variations. So it would be a better opportunity for you to hit the overall triceps with these exercises. So do add these exercises into your routine if you don't have any gym equipment at your place. And even if you are doing gym exercises, then also you can add these tricep workouts in between if you want to isolate any head of your triceps. So let's end this video here and if you like the video consider subscribing to my channel for more such fitness videos and nutritional information. 
So let's meet in the next video. Should take